I think, I think Debbie is really one of the great educators of our time. I mean, her commitment to education is so resolute. And Mercersburg, of course, is a big part of that. But, you know, she, she shares in very deliberate ways with a lot of organizations. When she's passionate about making a difference, she and her, and her family work tirelessly to make the world a better place. She is incredibly loyal, very hardworking, incredibly empathetic, especially in regard to anybody that needs help. I first met Debbie when I was the designate president of Juilliard. So I had this interim period where I was imagining what the future was. She looked at me and just said, okay, what are you gonna do? And then we talked. And after a while, she looked at my wife and said, I'm gonna help your husband. And I don't know what else I could say beyond she expressed belief. During Debbie's time on the Planned Parenthood Federation of America board, and during the time when I was chair, we went through some very difficult times as an organization. And Debbie is someone I would be in a foxhole with any day of the week. She's just, you know, tough and smart and generous and sees what, what is possible and where an organization can and should go. She, as a centennial chair of the ACLU, has really pulled up close and leaned in to the conversations at the organization. More than giving us money, she gives us advice. She gives us, she gives us guidance. She gives us her Rolodex, which is amazing. And she gives us uh, encouragement and support. Debbie has been uh, a fundamentally important supporter of the zoo for at least 20 years. She's simply one of the most generous people in Indianapolis. And she works with people all across the spectrum, from the, the most uh, distinguished institutions like Mercersburg to institutions in her community, to the Simon Youth Foundation, which takes those kids who are the most disadvantaged and helps them to earn a high school degree. Even in 2019-2020 academic year, the students from SYF achieved a 98% graduation rate certainly eclipsing national average. We've helped over 20,000 students graduate from high school and attend college. 41 youth academies in 15 states have launched their own alumni network. 2019 and 2020 were huge years for SYF and uh, it's really been uh, two years of tremendous growth, even during the pandemic. She has every step of the way in her tenure on the board um, been an advocate for making the school a better place and she steps up to the plate often both with her ideas, her wisdom, her um, incredible generosity. Debbie doesn't just talk the talk, she walks the walk. Every day with everything that I am able to do I'm just more thankful and appreciative of all the opportunities and experiences that I have been given. I was the Irving president as well as student council president. I've been fortunate enough to go to New York, Miami, South Africa, and Florida, which is something that my family would not be able to afford or kind of give me the opportunity to do so. It's a shame that she will probably be remembered for the amount of money she's given and not for all the attributes that she has and what she's done behind the money. Uh, as Denise said, she certainly walks the walk and uh, the friendships that she's created here, I mean, People love that woman, me being one of them. We love you, and we're very, very, very proud of you, and you deserve this award. Congratulations. Congratulations to Debbie. I want to go back to high school. Have fun. God bless. <laughs>